Yo guys and welcome back to the channel, sit back, relax and enjoy as we play some more Persona 5 Royal. Hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and as always, without a doubt, I'll see you on the next one. There seems to be a treasure chest. Geysers. You aren't among those who desire salvation. Leave! You are unwanted intruders. Do not disturb our Lord's research. This world's salvation. The language of a shadow is a hint into its ruler's ideology. This one sounds rather cultish, for example. Sorry, but we're going to pass through there now. We don't have the time to waste on peons like yourself. 
Why do you willingly strive for self-suffering? Why are you reaching out to your own pain? <laughs> Yoshizawa-san, you can do this, right? Yes. Ready whenever. It'll be too much trouble to go about this haphazardly. I'll provide the support. Look at this scum pile up. Fine by me. Time for a bloodbath. It's been quite a while. Nothing gets me quite as excited as this. Hakechi san! Now, time to obliterate them. Uh, all right. I'll break them. Screw <laughs> you! Let's dance! Let's finish this! Let's <laughs> practice! No one! Sona! Messiah! Ravage her! I think we handled that rather well, didn't we? Especially considering the last-minute arrangement of our team and all. Uh. Yoshizawa-san? Uh, yes. So that shadow, it said something about research, and also something about pain. It mentioned salvation as well. All this seems to indicate that the palace's ruler is not in his or her right mind. Oh? I seem to have found a map to this place. Let's make good use of it. Um, so I've only shared pleasantries with Akechi-san. Would you say this is how he normally is? Like a... a ruthless sort of person. I see. What say we save the idle chatter for later and keep moving? Unless teaming up with a ruthless sort of person is too much for you to handle. Looks like we're busted. Focus. Flies, they are. Come, ravage them. Joker took one down. This is Shit, they brainwashed me. Now or never. What a workout. Pretty sad performance on their part. Alright. It's somewhere. There seems to be a safe room near us. Let's find it and take a break. It's a safe room. Shall... I'll just add this. We don't know what may be waiting for us. Let us explore carefully. Everyone will be arriving soon. Mom, Grandma. Yes, she'll be here too.
I'm sure she'll be here once she's able to calm down. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> It was your father in the video just now, wasn't it, Yoshizawa-san? And the one he was speaking to. Mm. Sumire, my younger sister. Sumire Yoshizawa. I mentioned to you that I've lost a family member, right? But how was this video... <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's been wrong with me lately. I've been getting this feeling like... Like I need to remember something, but at the same time, I oughtn't remember it. Hmm. Can you still walk, Yoshizawa-san? Whatever it is that's happening, we have to keep going if we hope to learn more about it. Yes. I'm alright. Let's go. Hey. When was it that you said you became acquainted with Yoshizawa-san? I see. Anyway, let's move out. I suspect we still have a long way to go. is enormous. What could this room be? Uh, you seem to be in pain again. Are you alright? Uh, I'm fine. It's just that I can't stop thinking about that video we saw earlier. You mean the one about Sumire-san? Yes. Let's keep pushing. I need to find out why that was shown to me. Tragedy awaits you beyond here. Huh. A newcomer. All these warnings of pain and tragedy. Who is your ruler? Why do you all think you know so much about me? If you won't give me an answer, then I'll just force my way through. into things. Just calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. This is it. Time your attacks with mine. Uh, right. Sona, go down. Such a fool, rejecting our Lord's mercy. In that case, witness it for yourself. Now what? Oh wow, the crowd is going wild. Their cheers are shaking the stadium to welcome a new heroine to the world of competitive gymnastics. Huh? Thank you so much. I'm 
simply thrilled with the results I had today. But you'll be entering high school soon. Will that impact your career in gymnastics? Oh, I have no intentions of stopping. It's my dream to compete and win at the international level. How wonderful. One last question. Is there anyone you'd like to give a shout out while you have the chance? My younger sister. She should be here in the stadium. What? Oh, there she is! Sumire! <laughs> Sumire! I did it! Both of us have the same dream, to be international champions. Stop. Let's make it come true, Sumire! Together! Yoshizawa-san? Your... I really hope this helped you understand. A man's voice. If you keep pushing on like this, you're going to find nothing but heartache. Please, won't you stop fighting this and just return to the current reality? Nothing but heartache, huh? I don't understand what you're saying, but I have no intention of leaving now! We are in agreement there. We also refuse to do as you say. Now why don't you drop the big voice behind the curtain act and face us directly? As you wish. Head on down. I'll meet you there. He agreed to that much more readily than I expected. Perhaps the palace's ruler really will make his appearance. for your concern. But I'm fine, really. Let's go. <laughs> Kasumi Yoshizawa, eh? True form. They let their guard down. Come, you're mine. I can still feel the rush. Okay. I'm glad we're doing so. Focus. Is he this palace's? It's been quite a while, hasn't it? Dr. Maruki! Glad to see you're all doing well. I pretty much figured that you would end up infiltrating this place. Truth be told, this isn't how I was hoping we would meet again. Dr. Maruki, you're the ruler of this palace? Palace? A place where distorted desires manifest. We're asking if you're the source of the desires here. Ah, I see. Well, to use your own words, yes, I am this palace's ruler. But in my case, it seems a tad different from the ones you've seen. Would we also be correct in believing that you're involved in the abnormalities outside the palace as well? Yes, you would. Do you like the reality I created for you? You created it? That's right. I've gained the power to alter reality. To make it whatever the people wish for. I definitely understand how this could be hard to grasp. At any rate, our cruel and unforgiving reality is going to change. And that includes Yoshizawa-san's awful past, too. My... past? Dr. Maruki? What do you mean? What's happened to me? A 
All right. I had honestly hoped that all those warnings you were given would change your minds. But if it's your true desire, then I want you to recall who you really are. And I want you two to learn as well. Once you have, you'll need to choose between the two realities. The merciless one, or the one I've formed. Brutal, huh? Oh. Feeling okay? It's not that. <sighs> Why am I doing so bad? I keep messing up my routine. Your growth spurts just changed your eye level. You'll get used to it. Look, you're as tall as I am now. <laughs> we practice the same amount. But you are the one who always gets first place. I can't catch up to you, Kasumi. You know why? Because it's my right as the elder sister. We're in the same grade, though. Oh, don't be so down. We'll reach the top of the world together. That's our dream, right? You don't get it. Huh? You'll never understand how I feel. What? <laughs> Kasumi, if I were like you, things would be so much better. <clears throat> hey, wait up! <clears throat> Kasumi's the one that people want. Look where you're going! The light's red! <clears throat> hey! Yeah! The talented one who can reach the top of the world. Sumire, stop! Listen to me! Seems you remembered. That's right. I'm... Kasumi? No. That's not right. I'm... I'm not Kasumi. The girl named Kasumi Yoshizawa is currently deceased. It was last spring. Before I started at Shujin, we were walking home from practice. It happened right there, on that street in the video. I wasn't looking where I was going. And Kasumi, she protected me from the car. I was saved by Kasumi. I robbed her of her dreams, and even her life. I'm her younger sister, Sumira Yoshizawa. I'll take over from here. After all, I do play a part in this story. Her real name is Sumire Yoshizawa. She's Kasumi-san's younger sister, but for months now, she's only seen herself as being Kasumi Yoshizawa, her deceased elder sister. Of course, it was only her cognition of herself that changed, so to the people around her, she was still Sumire-san. For some reason, though, there were a few rare exceptions to this. Did something happen to make you believe she was Kasumi-san? It appears you were clueless, but she was Sumire Yoshizawa from the start. However, when we watched that other video, 
She gave her name as Kasumi Yoshizawa. Considering such an odd claim, I'd actually suspected for a moment that she was the palace ruler. After Kasumi died, but before I started at Shujin, I received counseling from Dr. Maruki. That was when I told him. If Kasumi is gone, and can't make her dream come true, then I want to become Kasumi, so I can turn her dream into reality for her. So that's why you meddled with her cognition? For her own wishes? That's right. Limited as it was, I already had the power at the time to actualize her wish. Put yourselves in her shoes for a moment. Sumire-san's older sister died from protecting her. Imagine surviving such a dismal tragedy. Who would be able to cope with that survivor's guilt, let alone heal from the emotional scarring that she suffered? If Sumire-san can live a healthy, positive life by becoming Kasumi-san, then I believe that reality is what would make her happy. I've had enough of your high and mighty rationalization. All you really did was use her to try and make everyone acknowledge the validity of your research. So that's how you see things, huh? That's quite unfortunate. Of course I wanted society to acknowledge cognitive science through my research. But that's because my goal is to save everyone in the world like Yoshizawa-san by ending all suffering. <clears throat> my work will convert the wishes of the people into reality, even as we speak. My research is coming to fruition. No one will ever have to suffer again under the yoke of an unfair world. This... palace, you called it? It's a place where its ruler's desires take physical form, yes? I wish to utilize my research to save humanity. I suppose that would be the desire I hold dearest. What total nonsense. You could very well be right. Still, I'm entirely serious about changing our imperfect reality. Just as she was saved by becoming Kasumi, I'll save every other person in the world currently suffering. In fact, it's my responsibility to do so. You can see how this world's bestowed the duty upon me. I don't know for certain. It'll most likely be treated as if it never existed. The cruel reality will cease to be. And the reality I generate will be the sole world recognized by society. And you assume we'll buy into your brainwashing and just live in the palm of your hand. Honestly, that sounds absolutely revolting. All right, so that's your answer, Akechi-kun. How about the others? Yoshizawa-san, allow me to ask you yet again, which reality is it that you wish to inhabit? Huh? If you so desire, you can return to your life as Sumire. But if you'd rather continue your life as Kasumi, I can grant that wish for you as well. Dr. Maruki... <sighs> I...
It's impossible. I'm sorry, Senpai. I... I can't go back to being her. I can't be the one who led her sister to her death. Please don't judge her. This is just evidence of how painful life is for her. You two sense doubts forming in the reality I manifested. That's what brought you here. But please, remember this as well. You two aren't excluded from the people that I wish to save. Come now. Won't you accept my reality for your own happiness? No deal so far, huh? you're doing with her I won't harm her it's in her best interest that you turn back you've made clear that you reject the reality she desires the reality where she lives as Kasumi Yoshizawa <sighs> It saddens me when you speak that way. Don't you understand? You deny her wishes when you say such things. Her wishes, huh? This isn't just for her. I'm doing all of this for yourselves as well. I honestly do want to come to terms with you. We should talk. Think about it. You both have dreams, no? I have the power to make them come true. My reality can become just the way you like. Total waste of my time. A shame, but I understand. Well then, we just have to resort to force now, don't we? Violence is not my thing. Agree, though. It seems we're out of options here. <sighs> Time to fight. Are you ready? Keep up and don't embarrass me. down. Bye. 
nice technique. Shall we continue this? I'm fairly certain any further negotiating is pointless. That seems to be the case, unfortunately. But first, I have an idea. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it. Mm, that I cannot do. As I said before, she wishes to live in the reality where she is Kasumi. There's no way I can hand her over to you with matters as they currently are. I already told you that I won't harm her, and I'll swear by it. Don't worry about her. Go, look at the reality I've created for you all. Once you've seen the results, I know you'll realize which future is best. You think we'll just obey your orders? I apologize, but you really are going through with this, even if it's by force. One week from today, January 9th. I genuinely pray that you'll change your mind by then. <sighs> he got away. Let's say we head back for now. I had spent all that time investigating the people around you so I could set you up to think. Takuto Maruki, of all people, would be the mastermind behind this absurd situation. And he happens to be warping the very fabric of reality while ranting about making everyone's dreams come true. Talk about incomprehensible motives. I can't even wrap my head around such intentions. At any rate, we need to figure out our next steps. Don't you think it'd basically be suicide to try and save her in our current state? We need intel first. If we're going to stand up to him, we have to know more than nothing. I'll do some investigating on my own. I hate that we have to do what he says, but Maruki told us we have to wait until January 9th. Let's meet up here next week. Although, I imagine both our lives would be very different if you choose to live in this reality as your friends have been.
You're correct.
reminds me. Do you think? Sorry. Whoa! No way, man! Yeah. What?
Coincidence.
my. Excuse me?
Oh man. Time to head home. It's me. I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week, so I thought I'd share my findings with you. First, regarding Maruki himself. He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And, as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off, and his research was ended for him. It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? For example, maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Maruki's put us in. It seems that Akumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality.
ladies seem to have been causing a stir in society. Just like in our robot, Shido alone was arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the Basically. In this reality, you and I haven't... I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to... But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions. And rather convenient ones. Quite the funny joke. It makes me want to puke. Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. See you soon. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it up. Of course, that's not a bad... Hey, so, about what you said before. You know, that stuff about my happiness? Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. So, you came. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. Oh yes, because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality. Well, there's no point in griping about it. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs. I should write something. <laughs>